Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. I just wanted to do a quick video of a chopping board. This particular chopping board I got from Kmart. It's actually um, really nice. It's a round one and it's got oops, a brass handle. I think you can see that. So all I've done here is apply some blue painters, painters tape, but it's actually the 3M brand. I found this to work the best and give me a nice clean edge. So I've done that now. Now I actually did the lines first and then went around doing the edge. If you're going to do one of these round boards, I recommend doing the edge trim first and then doing your lines. Okay, normally if I'm doing a straight board, I actually like having my design come down the edges, but with the circular one, it's just too difficult. So into a small cup, this is a 40 mil um, cup. So I'll show you how little you use. Now I'm just putting in some sterling wax white first. Then this is our Mallee ring neck blue. So I'll pop some of that in. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of our Willy Wagtail Black. I hope you can see this. I just want a little bit, not a lot. And then just a dot of the white to break it up. And then some Parrot Fish Green. I love this colour. It's one of my favourite colours. Everyone knows that now. I use it all the time. And then some more white. Okay, so in total there, I've probably got about, I don't know, 30 mils, maybe 25 even. So I've just given it a slight mix. You can see that's gorgeous. Then all I'm going to do is literally, I'm just going to actually... Pour some on and we will get a slightly different design and different color formations on each layer because of the way rather than doing a flip cup I've done a pour so to speak and I will go around and tilt it as well I'll just like that this over here okay might just get the last little bit out of this cup. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to move it around a bit. I hope I'm still staying in view. We're just going to move it around. If I wanted to, I could blow this with a straw and push it along a bit more, which I may still do yet. What I'm just going to do is just to encourage it. I'm just going to use my fingers to spread it out around a little bit. So even though it's very uneven right at this minute, it won't stay like that. It will completely level out and literally become one with the, with the substrate it's poured onto. It's really amazing how boom works. No cracking or crazing or anything like that. I love it. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to spin that back around this way. And now all I'm just trying to do is just let it, encourage it to do its own thing and get some cool patterns going. And I wouldn't mind some more colour in here. So all I'm going to do is just Move it around a little bit. Down 
this way. So really, it's just a matter of tilting. So I've done absolutely nothing. I'm just going to move this around, let it do its own thing. And then you'll be able to see this dry very soon. So I'm going to put this back down. Some of these areas, I'm just going to go through with a straw and blow through. <clears throat> I'll show you quickly. Actually, I'll use my airbrush and then I'm not getting in the way of the camera. If I use this, then I'm not going to. There we go. This is just to move it. And that's, I'm just doing this because I want a bit more of the colours coming out. That's the only reason. And I could have just as easily done that with a straw. Okay, so I'm just going to tilt it a little bit more. Just so I get that natural flowy look again. And then I'm literally going to leave it to dry. And I'll come back and video the results. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll see what that looks like once it's dry. Okay, so here's the finished result. And you can actually see where my tape has taken away some of the oil. So it kind of looks quite effective, but um, what I will do is once I've sealed my boom areas, I will actually go through and just re-oil the board. But we've got some nice results. It's showing up mainly blue, but there's actually parrotfish green in this, and it is a lot, there's a lot more green going through it, but... For some reason, it just shows up. I did get a little bit of a bleed through, um, which I'll try and tidy up. It wasn't anything great, like too bad. And like I said, I would definitely do the edges first because I do have, I don't know if you can see it. See on the corner there, that wouldn't have bled um, like that if I had have done the edge first. So there we go, quite effective. And once I oil it, that'll be, those stripes will be gone.